Hello, I am Marie Contreras. For the last 20 years, I have been a vintage and antique collectibles reseller on eBay. For the last five years, I have run my own pet care business. I write a weekly blog about pet care, and I recently wrote my first book about caring for dogs. I make videos on this channel about growing a small business, saving money, and living life on your own terms. If this sounds like something you would enjoy, stick around. I hope you enjoy what I created for you. In today's video, I'm going to share how anybody can handle the easy basic accounting that you need to do for your small business. Easy basic accounting for your small business is the foundation of good business practices. The word accounting can be quite intimidating to small business owners, but it doesn't have to be. If you properly set up your accounts, then accounting for your business will be a breeze. Let's start with the basics. The most important thing that you need to do is have a bank account just for your business. If you're a small business owner and don't have a separate bank account just for your business, then as soon as you finish watching this video, you need to set one up. This is important. When your business or side gig is in its infancy, this can be as simple as a separate account that you use only for your business expenses. It doesn't have to be an official business banking account. As you grow, getting an account titled in your entity's official name is important to establish the legitimacy of your business in the eyes of the IRS. This will also make tax time so much easier for you and remove hours of rummaging through your bank statements trying to remember which expense was business or personal. When you have a separate bank account for your business, every business expense will come out of this account. Say you need a new printer, purchase it from your business bank account. This also holds as a record keeper when it comes to taxes. Do not use cash to pay for business expenses or independent contractors. You want receipts and records for all of your expenses so you can easily claim the deductions for them and have the records to back it up if you're ever audited. You only need to go through the bank statements of your business account as you didn't purchase anything that wasn't business related from this account and vice versa. It's important to keep your business and personal spending and income separate so you have a proper understanding of your cash flow. A separate account will let you know at a glance exactly what's coming in and what's going out. Budgeting and cash flow. It is important to understand your cash flow, as important as setting up a business budget and sticking to it. You can't run a successful business if you have no idea how much money it's generating and how much money you're spending, whether that's on inventory, staff, or anything in between. The goal of every business is to have more money coming in than what's going out. If you don't understand your cash flow, then you're not going to know what's coming in versus coming out. And therefore, budgeting and growing your business financially is going to be a lot harder. I use QuickBooks Online to track my cash flow easily. By syncing my business bank account with QuickBooks, I can see my cash flow on the dashboard. A feature that I like with QuickBooks is mileage tracking. If you travel for your business, you will need a log of all your business trips. QuickBooks tracks your trips without having to give it any thought. Download the QuickBooks app to, to your smartphone and have it refreshing in the background and it'll catch every trip that you make. Once a week or so, I look at the trips and my transactions completed and I make sure that they are all categorized correctly. Even if you get a bookkeeper, it's important to set your business financials up correctly and know how to keep track of things. You need to know your numbers. If you want to do your taxes yourself, QuickBooks syncs with TurboTax easily. I have done my own accounting and taxes for years. I stay up to date on tax law changes because I enjoy the process, but not everybody does. This isn't for everyone. You can also send your QuickBooks files to your accountant or bookkeeper at tax time. QuickBooks also has an option for payroll, and you can snap a photo of receipts on QuickBooks mobile app to save for tax time. If this isn't something that you want to handle, consider investing in a bookkeeper or an accountant. As your business grows, keeping track of everything is going to get more difficult. This is where a bookkeeper or an accountant will come in handy. A bookkeeper will keep track of all your income and expenses. Keep an eye on your books though, even with a professional handling them. Don't turn your back on your finances and trust that someone else will care about your money as much as you do. If this is tracked consistently throughout the year, when it gets to tax time, you're going to know exactly how much you generated and what can be a tax deduction for your business. Tax deductions. Owning your own business means you're able to deduct necessary and ordinary expenses for your business from your tax return. Obviously, these have to be related to your business, but here are some that may help save you a few dollars when it comes to the new financial year. If your business needs you to travel, you can claim this as a business expense. For example, if you're a social media manager and you meet with a client in a different city, flying or driving to this city can be counted as a tax write-off. Accommodations can also if you need to stay the night. 
All the supplies you use for your business are also a tax deduction. If you are a freelance writer and you upgrade your computer to a faster model that can better keep up with your work, this is classified as a tax deduction as you're using it for your business. But if you're a freelance writer and you purchase a gaming laptop to pay Minecraft, this isn't related to your business and cannot be deducted. Profit versus revenue. If you sell handmade jewelry for $25 a piece, you didn't just make $25 in profit. How much did it cost you to buy the supplies needed to make this jewelry? Say you spent $4 on beads, $2 on wire and clasps, and 50 cents on listing your item. That is a total of $6.50. This leaves your sales profit at $18.50. Say you sold three of these, your business revenue would be $75, yet your turnover or profit would only be $55.50. If you're selling items for less than what it costs you to make them, then it's time to reevaluate your pricing. Taxes. More businesses fail because they don't save money for taxes than any other reason. The last thing your business needs is a surprise tax bill at the end of the financial year that you're not prepared to pay. If you spend everything you earn without saving any for taxes, you'll have serious trouble at tax time. Owning a small business means you need to set aside a portion of every dollar that you earn to pay your business taxes, preferably quarterly. A good rule of thumb would be for every sale you make, transfer 30% of that sale into a high interest bank account and don't touch it. Therefore, when tax time comes around and whatever money you owe, you'll have it there and ready. You won't need to dip into your savings. And tax time comes around every quarter when you're a business. There's a good chance you'll even have some left over once you allow for tax deductions and generated interest. It's much better to be safe than sorry and to put away more than you believe you'll be owing when the time comes around. Although, keeping track of your expenses properly, you'll understand what you'll owe before it comes time to pay it. Owning a small business is an exciting and rewarding adventure. Handling the money and the accounting side of things can be intimidating, especially if you haven't structured it properly. Imagine having to go through a year of bank statements because you didn't have a separate business account. You'd be sifting through hundreds, maybe thousands of transactions to find what was a business expense and what wasn't. Set your accounting up properly and make life a lot easier. Spend less time sorting out your numbers and more time growing your business. Now go, create a business bank account and make some sales. If you enjoyed this video, nudge the like button. If you would like to see more like this, consider subscribing. If you would like to read the blog or check out my new book, I'm gonna leave links to them in the description. Thank you for watching. Bye till next time.